gathering outside, the New York Stock Exchange had its worst loss ever. When the Great Depression emerged, African Americans were the first to lose their jobs. The saying, last hired, first fired, goes for black Americans in the 1930s. Suddenly, unemployed whites were taking up jobs as garbage men, porters, and domestics. These were all jobs that were usually held by African Americans. Racial discrimination only increased in the 30s because of desperation for employment. Most of the things that happened to us in relation to the white community that we objected to were physical, you know, and there were lynchings, and there were beatings, and there were things where physically we had to suffer. Unemployment rates soon reached a 30% for whites and a 50% for blacks. At the time of the Great Depression, most African Americans lived in rural areas when poverty was already a way of life, the tragedy was hard to distinguish. Urban black Americans were turned away by white owners, and in the rare chance they did get the job, they had longer hours and lower pay. Many urban black Americans were homeless or had makeshift homes, and many died from starvation, little water, or diseases from the dirtiness. Because of economic relief programs, all hope was not lost. President Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal program was not especially designed for blacks, but they took advantage of it. However, in the Jim Crow South, discrimination kept black from benefiting. Although the president had a black cabinet, a group of African-American advisors, blacks wanted him to focus on ending Jim Crow laws. But the president was afraid of losing support from the South to help support economic relief programs. With influence from his wife, Eleanor Roosevelt, he began to speak out about black segregation, and he granted black leaders into the White House. 